Hi there, Doug Stuman with IT Creations. Today we'll be taking an in-depth look at the Dell EMC PowerEdge R7425 server. This system is powered by AMD's Epic 7000 series CPUs to deliver unprecedented performance with dual processors and up to four terabytes of memory in a 2U chassis. It can be adapted to support a number of different workloads, including high-performance computing, memory-bound applications like SAP HANA, and scale-up software-defined deployments. Let's dig in. Aside from this platform, Dell has three other AMD EPIC-powered systems, including the 2U single-socket R7415 we reviewed a few weeks back, the R6415, and the R6425. The last two are high-density 1U servers with 1 and 2 processor support, respectively. The addition of a single-socket option in what was traditionally a 2-socket platform is responsible for the added number in the naming convention. These new EPIC-powered systems are designed to easily integrate with your existing Dell Xeon-powered platforms because they share the same management features, including iDRAC 9 with Lifecycle Controller, OpenManage, and the OpenManage mobile app. Not only that, but you also benefit from Dell's other built-in management and security tools, including QuickSync for at chassis server status and maintenance using a smartphone or tablet outfitted with Dell's OpenManage mobile app. And that's using an Android or iOS-based device. A honeycomb bezel comes with or without an integrated management display, and both have a lock to protect your drives. AMD EPIC processors have 8 to 32 cores, depending on the model. All of them support 8 memory channels, faster memory at 2666 GHz, and a total capacity of up to 2 terabytes of memory. They also have 128 PCIe 3.0 lanes for increased I.O., PCIe storage cards, HPAs, and all sorts of fun stuff. Compared to the Intel Xeon processors, AMD EPIC processors offer four more cores on their top-of-the-line processors, but the whole family supports two more memory lanes, more memory in general, and 80 more PCIe lanes. Strangely enough, both a single and dual socket system have the same number of PCIe lanes at 128, because in a two-socket application, half the PCIe lanes of each processor are dedicated to communications between processors. AMD also has a nifty name for their high-speed interlink for data exchange between processors, PCIe, I.O., and memory, called the Infinity Fabric. By the way, if you're looking to purchase the Dell EMC PowerEdge R7425 or are still shopping, check out IT Creations. For a limited time, you can save up to $250 off the list price of a system valued at $2,500 or more. Click this link to see pricing. To take advantage of this epic offer, just give us a call and mention this video. IT Creations also carries all the parts and components to custom configure your server or workstation and send it out for next day delivery. Supported memory types include registered and load-reduced DDR4 memory modules, but they cannot be mixed. Each processor supports 16 memory slots with two modules per channel. With both processors installed, that's 32 slots capable of supporting up to 4 terabytes of memory using 128 gigabyte LR DIMM memory modules. If you plan on using registered DIMM modules, the system will only support up to 1 terabyte. For optimal performance, Dell recommends placing one memory module in each of the eight memory channels. Using that logic, if you want 128 gigabytes of system memory with dual processors, then use eight gigabyte memory modules in all 16 slots, starting with the ones with white release tabs. NVDIMM memory modules cannot be installed on this chassis, but you can load up to 24 NVMe SSDs on the 2.5 inch chassis only. Storage on this system is nearly identical to the R740 XD server. You can install a maximum of 32 2.5 inch drives with 24 drives up front, four drives in the mid-plane drive cage, and four more in a rear-mounted drive cage. Another chassis version supports 12 3.5-inch drives up front, and that mid-drive bay will support either four 2.5-inch or 3.5-inch SAS or SATA HDDs or SSDs, but only the 2.5-inch mid-drive bay will support four NVMe drives. The rear drive bay also supports either four 2.5-inch drives or two 3.5-inch SAS or SATA HDDs or SSDs, but no NVMe. Total storage capacity for these options is not included in the spec sheet, but I am going to take a leap here and use the same numbers from the R740 XD. So here you go. There are several other configurations, like eight SAS, SATA, or nearline SAS in universal slots zero through seven, with 16 NVMe drives in the remaining slots in bay one, and loading up bay two with NVMe for a tiered storage solution. An optional optical device is supported, but only on certain configurations. The hard drives connect to a hot swap backplane, which is in turn connected to a backplane expander to support the storage devices. Behind that, a bank of six fans keeps it all cool. Depending on your configuration, that will be six high performance or standard fans. There are other recommendations for the heat sink and the types of fans to be installed based on the thermal design point of the processors and the quantity and type of storage installed in the system. An optional intrusion switch is located in the middle of the fan assembly. There are several options to boot the system, aside from just loading the OS on one of those front-mounted drives or using two of them in a RAID for redundancy. 
If you want to preserve all your upfront storage for storage, you can use an internal USB or Dell's Boot Optimized Storage Solution or BOSS. The BOSS uses two Boot Optimized NVMe M.2 drives on a PCI card that plugs into one of the PCIe slots on your system board. The M.2 drives can be used in Hardware RAID 1 for mirroring or used in pass-through mode. The BOSS is particularly useful for hyper-converged infrastructure and software-defined storage by freeing up onboard drive slots that can be used for your dataset devices. Configuration is through either the OpenManage app or System BIOS. You can also use the redundant OS control screen in System BIOS to specify the location of a redundant OS. This platform supports both the previous generation Series 9 controllers like the Perk H330, HBA330, and H730, and the new Series 10 controllers like the H740P, and for external storage, the H840. The Series 10 HD controllers offer more cache at up to 8 gigabytes and greater performance from the LSI 3508 dual core ARM A15 radon chip design. The Series 9 controllers only support a 2 gigabyte cache, but the H730 is an excellent, less expensive option than the new Perk H740 controller. Another proprietary slot on the system board supports an internal dual SD card module with up to two SD cards and an optional V-Flash card mounted on the other side. The SD cards can be used to support the hypervisor in a fail-safe configuration with two SD cards. The optional V-Flash card provides support for iDRAC and can also be used to host other system updates. With a single processor, only PCI slots 1 through 4 are active. With two processors, the system can support up to eight PCI 3.0 slots, depending on your choice of riser and storage options. Keep in mind, if you are mounting that rear storage tray, then you will lose a few of those PCIe slots. A network daughter card on the back of the system provides either dual or quad port network connectivity without taking up any of those PCIe slots and can easily be switched out to support other connection speeds. With eight PCIe slots on the system board, you have options for dual HD controllers, HBAs, an external storage card, and or more NICs. With the rear storage tray installed, you'll still have up to four PCIe slots available in a single riser. That is, depending on your choice of riser options, and there are quite a few. Powering the system are two AC or DC redundant power supplies featuring platinum and titanium power supplies with wattages of 495, 750, 1100, 1600, 2000, or 2400 watts. It's been more than six years since Dell offered an AMD Optron powered platform, and they were kind of the redheaded stepchild compared to Intel Xeon platforms. Fast forward to today, and AMD is giving Intel a serious run for their money with their new Epic processor powered servers that can be used in place of and along with an Intel Xeon powered server. Although the CPU architecture is different, AMD definitely has a winner on their hands with the new Epic processors. Oh, and did I mention the AMD CPUs are also about half the cost of Intel Xeon processors? Well, that's it for our review of the Dell EMC PowerEdge R7425. If you have any questions, post them in the comments section below. And if you want to learn more about this system, look in the description or click that link. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm Doug Stuman with IT Creations.